Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hey guys, I'm at uh, Mount Body Sunday morning. See Father's Day. <laughs> Body fathers are having a good day out there today. Uh, we're going to do a speed run. It's not a race, it's just a few of us are getting together to uh, do a high speed ride up to Mount Body. Done this a few times in the past. We do this ride all kinds of ways. We do slow leisure rides, fast night rides. Uh, it's a fun time, so I'll probably be the slowest guy here, but I'm recording this just for just for kicks. And by the way, this will be the ride that we'll be doing on the tour coming up October 15th, starting October 15th. This will be the last day of the tour. Of course, we're not going to do a speed run that day. <laughs> It'll be a more leisurely smell the roses type of day. Anyway, I thought I'd take you along uh, and uh, show you what it's like. From the perspective of my helmet cam. So, not super high quality video, but it's something. And I'm riding my Sherman Max today. I'm anticipating about a 45 minute ride up to the top for me. And this is Dave. I'm recording this video on my. Uh, hey, what's, what's going on, Marty? On my uh, <laughs> helmet cam. You got it. You're gonna record the whole thing? Yeah, just okay. just for just for kicks, raw video. Should be a nice uh, nice video. Yeah. Nice weather. It's already getting hot. Yeah, I know. I'm wearing <laughs> a thermal. And sweating. You're always doing this. You're always overdressing. I got a t-shirt in here this time. I learned my lesson. Okay. Yeah, I learned my lesson. I'm just going up, coming right back down. Are oh, you not gonna eat lunch with no, this? No, no. Lunch? We're gonna be up there by. 10:15. I don't think they open till 11. Oh, the restaurant. I think you're right. Too. Yeah. Yeah, the weekend opens at 11:30. Yeah. So, I'm just going. Well, at least the guys will be charging before we grab up. Yeah. Grab some food. I'm just uh, just doing the fun up and down real quick. So you're riding your Monster Pro. Yeah, I'm not taking my charger with me, so. Yeah. We don't need it. I don't yeah. think we need it. No, no. All right, Marty. Stay to the right. Stay to the right. Don't make that left. Stay to the right. Stay to the right. Stay. Don't make that left because there's like a there's like cars parked right there, and then there's like a part where you can go left. Yeah. Yeah. And then after that, it's just all straight up. We're going that way. So this is Jose. Don. Jose. 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 Jose.
Everyone here can get crazy with the comp competitive spirit. Yeah. Where's Michael? Not coming today? <laughs> oh yeah, wasn't he? Uh, he just maybe. mentioned something about laying pipe, and I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Look at this. Oh yeah, he does construction. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Only spirit. for this for Roger. <laughs> well, they wow. I want it twice. Oh, Roger, he's been too I've never seen this before. This <laughs> yeah, is. This uh, is like business. <laughs> yeah, you mean business? Yeah. He just seen him. He was like packing up this. He pulled them out. He pulled out the race pants. Yeah, everything. Wow. Well, let's hope you don't need it. Uh -oh. Oh, Our yeah. Father who art in heaven. Don't worry about it. Of course. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm going to do screen recording for my, exactly. my overlay telemetry. telemetry. Me too. If it works, but uh, again, I'm going to be the slow guide. You guys are going to be going 45 plus, probably. Pretty fast. Yeah. Now my screen is locked. Oh, are you? I got excuses early on. <laughs> no, no, no. Screen is locked is a good thing. Mm. But I just remembered I can't turn off the. I can't turn off my my phone or oh, it no. kills the recording. So we have uh, Matt. Let's see. Uh, Max. I have a Max. Sure, Max. Wow, three. Ma and you have a Max. Yeah. Wow, four Maxes yeah. and two uh, and masters. Masters. Oh, Dave has a Master Pro, so. Oh, okay. He's the only odd man out. Yeah. Anomaly. That's great. It's okay. They're all equivalent. Yeah. And we're actually leaving on time, which is just, like, amazing. Crazy. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I wasn't making <laughs> Yeah, no, just kidding. Poor, poor Marty was waiting for a while. It's the best I could do. <laughs> you got to get, you get, a for five bucks, you get a package of four of these clackers. They're, they're called dog trainers. These? No, no, they're a little... Okay, I'm going to also start What I use? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, but I have that at home. Here you go. That should do it. <laughs> what is that? It just... <laughs> it, it's got a nice, sh very sharp like, yeah. edge to it for video processing. That's interesting. Okay, so Strava, I think mine... My overlay is going to mess up today. I don't know why I have that feeling. Hey, everything will work out. <laughs> well, enjoy the ride. It's going to be a beautiful day to just cruise up there. Yeah. Might be warm by the time we get back, but that's cool too. So you're going to get up there by uh, 10, 10, 15. They don't open till 11, 11.30, I don't think, for food or anything, by the way. <laughs> I looked it up. It said that they were open for breakfast. Are they? They were going to close for breakfast at 11.30. That's oh, why I said Eggs Benedict. I see. I don't so even think I'm recording here on my screen. I've never been there for breakfast. <laughs> it's always lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I think I've done this myself in like 45 minutes before. So you guys are going to be up there in a half an hour probably. It's only like 20 miles. Yeah, it is. So if, you, if you're going fast. I've never tried to go fast in the mountains before. You're always going fast in the mountains. What are you talking about? Yeah. No, not like trying. <laughs> not like speed run. <laughs> so excited. And oh, then I got scared. And then I got excited again. <laughs> and then I got scared. <laughs> She's going to be like, oh. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> Let's go see if Jose's. Uh, Okay, we're off.
See, I'm definitely going to be going slow compared to these guys. <laughs> I'm running faster myself. Uh, but I just know they're just going to be going 40, 45. Ali, my knee, my legs feel a little tired right now because uh, there goes Roger. Never see him again. <laughs> There's Kato. I did a 90 mile ride yesterday. Got back about six. Woke up about seven today. My legs could, could feel stronger. <laughs> but for me, it's just fun, kind of a fun, fast ride up. Definitely not a race. And by the way, we're climbing about 3,500 feet. So most of this is uh, uphill. I need to dedicate myself to one wheel for like a couple months. Problem is I'm always switching wheels, so like yesterday it was the Monster Pro. Before that the commander I think. So I get on this wheel and I don't feel totally at ease. I don't feel like one with the wheel. Definitely an advantage if you only have one wheel that you ride mostly, you get so tuned into that wheel.
There goes Jose. Jose is a speed demon. <laughs> used to have a Sherman. I'm not sure when he upgraded to the Max, but uh, he needs it. <laughs> He's a big guy and he rides fast. really is a really a fun ride a fun uh, route to take fast these winding roads and then you get to go down it too which is a whole nother experience <laughs>
There's Dave. I'm sitting down for a while. Gotta watch the blind corners. You never know when a car is gonna come back by with a wide turn.
Uh, it's hard to go really fast here for me because of these blind corners. And besides cars, you gotta look for rocks, which are always falling down around here.
what that was about. <laughs> I'm not sure why, all the, why they're stopping, but I'm going to continue just because I want to curious what my fast time will be for this ride.
you know, it occurred to me that one of, someone might have had a wheel failure back there. <laughs> and maybe that's why uh, Roger and maybe, what's that, Cato? Maybe they can ride back to the cars. But there's nothing I can do for them. <laughs> as soon as I get to Lodge, I'm just going to turn around and come back. So I'll meet up with them again, I guess. Blind corners are really slowing me down. <laughs> and after I met my legs are getting tired.
Okay, I'm calling that gate the stop. So 1025. I thought I did this faster before. I gotta check what time we left, but so that's only uh that's 55 minutes. <laughs> Not exactly fast. I mean, it's fast, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, I definitely got to put a taller sh seat on this uh, Sherman. I'm just lazy. I got the time, but I'm riding the Zoom seat right now. And uh, it's comfy enough, but it's just too short for me. My knees start hurting and everything after... Uh, after not too long. I need tall seats so that I don't, I'm not in too much of a squat. And then my thighs are also bothering me. <laughs> so, I don't know. First drink. Yeah, I'm curious what happened back there. I'm sure no one is injured because uh, if they were injured, they would have gone up toward to the lodge, just half a mile further than where I just turned around because uh, there's a fire department there. So I'm sure it's just a mechanical problem. Or maybe not, but it's hard to believe they're just kicking back without it finishing the ride. <laughs> Or maybe they went to the lodge and they decided to come back. I don't know. Ah, my, my legs feel a little bit rubbery right now. <laughs> it's amazing how, uh, you know, riding a wheel can be, uh, it can be a workout if you're really pushing it. Getting a lot of thumbs up today. Love it when the motorcyclists give us uh, give us the plus sign. <laughs> Get a lot of love from the motorcyclists. <laughs> it's fun. But yeah, you uh, if you're like in doing something high intensity on an EOC you know you're at least for me I'm you know I'm kind of tensed up uh, you know my legs were getting even though I'm sitting they're kind of I'm working my quads and of course if you're doing trail riding well you're working your legs you're working your core Anyone who says riding EUC is not exercise, they're, they're just not, uh, they're, uh, they're just not really riding the wheel very much. <laughs> they're going for little strolls, I guess. I don't know. Come out to the tour. Eight days of riding, 450 miles, trails, riding like this, you'll get a workout. <laughs> you'll have the funnest time of your life, but you'll also sleep the best you've slept. I really need to do this more often. Just come up here for a fast ride. Just 
Because I could do this whole... I mean, it took me less than an hour to get up, up here. Probably about the same down. Then commuting to my house and from my house and back. You know, three hours. Three hours out of my day and I've had a fun ride and a uh, bit of a workout. Yeah, I definitely need to do this more. Well, uh, I guess I'll have, I'll probably overlay what my actual time was when I got up there, but I'm positive that was my fastest time, whatever it is, so that'll be my new, that'll be my goal. <laughs> to always do a little better. So what's happening? Wait. So I thought there was a mechanical failure probably, so I was gonna go back. Yeah, that's what we were thinking. It was uh it was more of um I put all the charges and all the tools in my thing and didn't test it and it was ripping into the wheel and it was like Which makes that. it more of a wardrobe malfunction yeah. than anything else. It was like burning holes in this right here and it was going it was so she had to figure out over. how to keep going but uh i don't know if i'm bringing a charger i'm carrying a charger that's how it should be uh, that's the right word mill you're the mill i don't like it he should have tested it before that because i'm going funny. up the hill and jose's like what's that noise and it starts smelling i'm going to change your name in the group to sherpa why <laughs> or the mill on the... <laughs> yeah you're always carrying the stuff carry your shit up everest oh. yeah, yeah. Like, i was telling him you carry your stuff he's like no what's the name of the mill on the uh it's okay uh, that cartoon, that animation, the Shrek. What's his name? The I thought they just called him Donkey. Donkey, really? Yeah, Donkey. Yeah. Not a very up. creative name. But. Is it Len the other mule? Donkey. Yeah, but he just mules beer. But it's okay if that's on your back, but this was just actually holding yeah. me down. I, I never got that it. whole the Kato bag thing. I've gone don't, on rides don't where get he's just that bag. dropping things. Well, no, I'm gonna, pretty sure I'm going to get that bag, but I'm going to mount it a lot better than... It was mounted and then I had to tighten it and it's doing, it just drops. Okay, it was too much stuff in there. But it yeah. can be mounted better. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Are you going up or you're going down? I guess I'll yeah. keep you guys coming. <laughs> got, I, I didn't stop because I figured, I don't think anyone's injured and if it's no, a mechanical no, no. failure, I'll find one. I wanted to see how my best time. Actually, that's, that's I why. was holding it in my hand and it was throwing me off, so I just had to put it on my, strap it on my backpack. So Cato decided to stop the racing part because uh, he was getting battery beeps and stuff. So, really? Battery beeps? Wow. Yeah. So when I crank on this, I can get the voltage to go down to like 100 and, 102, 103. But at rest, it's 112. So, I, wait, I forget. What's the cutoff voltage? On? Right about 100. I don't remember exactly. <laughs> really? So wow. I, I'm so, getting the battery beeps when I'm leaning into it. So I guess it has some serious voltage yeah, the voltage sag, that's why but, people want the moly cells. But that's when you're really cranking on it. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, we were, I mean, if we were going 40, it's like, hey, why are we going slow? So. <laughs> well, I had a fast ride. Basically, it was 55 minutes. I thought I could have done it faster, but. Yeah, it's a, it's a good pace, though. I was a little disappointed we didn't just uh, push all the way to the lodge because I had my Strava and all that set up yeah. with the plan. But uh, I don't know. I guess I don't know if Cato was hearing his beeps in the beginning, but he was beeping kind of from the beginning every time he'd uh, accelerate out of a turn or anything or pass me or whatever. But uh, he told me that he just started beeping. I was like, no, man, you've been beeping the whole ride. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. Ah, oh, that's dangerous. Yeah. 
this this just this ride is amazing that uh, I think back to what I I very first rode this and and we only rode the halfway up because we didn't think we could make it that have been on an ACM ACM yeah probably that wheel right yeah. 1600 watt hour wheels that that was it unless you had a monster so uh, well, the ACM came out pretty long before the monster. Yeah, yeah. So then we, we gambled and we made it up to the lodge and and now we can just hyper speed up these rides, no charging. Yeah. It's amazing. Come a long way. How long to the lodge? Like four miles, five miles? Couple, to about two miles. Oh, good, good. I was actually getting a little concerned. So. Maybe I'll push it a little bit more. Okay. It's really kill my back.
what is my battery by the 58% yeah <laughs> riding fast up a mountain it can go through the battery <laughs> and these guys are going a lot faster than me and they have a much smaller battery with that mass with the uh, yeah the master so Looks like you got those wobbles to go away. Well, that was fun. That wasn't so bad. I don't know what Lydia was complaining about. There's no way to hold that. I'm just kidding. It's just like, how do you hold that kind of a wheel and ride? That's just like ridiculous. It's just so awkward. Okay, so Dave was asking about my, well, he was actually asking about the GTK. This is the one we all ordered. Oh, is that that two? Okay. Like 160 or whatever? Yeah. Like super, light. super cheap. Wow, no, that, that it's pretty heavy. It's heavy. It's definitely heavier, heavier than the E wheels one I just got, mm -hmm. but it's smaller. Yeah, it's, it's I think maybe profile, but thinner. it might be longer. Yeah. But I like thinner. Thinner for me, that yeah. means it'll fit in a bag better and not... Uh... What's the reliability of those? Been pretty good? So far, I'm the only one that ordered one. Um, I went through and I found something that'll go to 140 volts. Used it on this without issue at all. But this is one. How long have you had it? Um, months. Two months? And you've been using it? Yeah, I've used it quite a few times. Right. So a sample size of one, it's pretty good. <laughs> Which means nothing, yeah. And how many are you, how many are coming in? Uh, 25, I think. 25, okay. So I guess we'll find out. You're riding soft Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. First thing you do is drop the <laughs> current down. And then you plug it in and then slowly turn the current up. And that's all. It's not complicated like the charger. And if, I assume it auto switches yes. to 220 to 110 or. And uh, is it pretty easy to set the voltage? Uh, or you well, you only to have to set the voltage once. It's a potentiometer. Well, it depends on the wheel, of course, right? Correct. So, so if you want a multi-purpose... So now I just put it to 7 amps. It's a potentiometer, so it's infinitely variable, the voltage. Yes. And is on that... Both the, uh, the current is a potentiometer that you can touch with a knob. The voltage one is inside. You need a little tiny screwdriver to change it. Ah, okay. So I just put it to 136 or something and never messed with it. Anymore. But it shows the voltage on the outside, so it's pretty yeah. easy to set. Yeah, so it's at 114 right now. But if I unplug the wheel, that 114 will jump up to 136, whatever I set it to. See, okay, and it's 7 amps. Yeah, and I could turn it up more. But, uh, yeah, we don't want to burn up the lodge. Yeah, yeah but so <laughs> we usually get two people Plug, plugged into this one. So if nobody else is going to share this with me, I'll bump it up a little more. So. All right, well, I still have 60% battery in mine, so. Yeah, I, I could have definitely made it to the top and the bottom because I went most of the way back down <laughs> looking for Lydia. Well, I wouldn't say you went most of the way back down. Oh, we went a long way. When I pass you? Uh, I passed so, you, you guys are going, and then, uh, she, Well, you need I to mean, know that, uh, Cato and I made it most of the way to the lodge. I think we were at about the spot where I asked you how much further to the lodge. Yeah. That's where he and I turned around and went back down maybe six miles worth, or at least... Well, okay, okay. it's 20 miles to get here, so... I, I mean. went down <laughs> with Don. Cato stayed because his battery was... Was low. How did you even know Lydia was having an issue? Because, I mean... Uh, we didn't. So, the, <laughs> so. Reason, the reason we did that was kind of race was over. It'll be more fun to ride with everybody in a group. So, Cato and I were hanging out there. Uh, Don and I said, we'll go get the group and ride back up with them. And then we'll all gather under this tree and continue on. Okay. So I got gotcha. you. So, that's what we did. It worked out okay. And you're on a time crunch? Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I gotta get promised wife I'd get back by maybe one. <laughs> I think you'll, it's 10.48. Oh yeah, yeah no, so you can no problem. It. It'll be good. All right, let me finish. So this is my, every single time I stop now, I do this with my pads and a staff. That goes there, that goes there, and then my beeper. Way too organized, Roger. And on top of that. It's just <laughs> no fun to like be missing something. And that just holds it all together super nice. All right, guys. Well, this concludes this video, raw video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know you didn't get to see many other people, but uh, <laughs> oh well. Talk to you later. <laughs>